Good evening, Tom Maddox with ABC News. The Northern Territory Government has declared itself broke and says without changes to expenditure, it cannot continue to operate. Treasurer Nicole Manison will fly to Canberra next week to ask for more cash from the Federal Treasurer just to keep the lights on. Stephanie Zillman reports. Treasury documents illustrate the stunning freefall. The Northern Territory Labor government is now borrowing money just to pay its current operating costs, like public sector wages. It's also borrowing to pay back interest on ballooning loans, which are rising at a rate of more than $4 million a day. Since 2000, it's been about 6 to 7% a year of expenditure growth. We want to pull that back down to about 3%, something that we think that is far more manageable. Labor came to government flushed with almost a billion dollars from the sell-off of TIO and leasing the Darwin port. The Treasurer isn't accepting any responsibility, instead blaming changes to the Territory's GST revenue allocation despite a billion dollars in federal top-up payments. I was really pleased to get that GST top-up. Uh, not enough, but still, I'm, I'm still going to be knocking on their door looking at more. The Treasurer plans to fly to Canberra next week asking for a bailout and the Commonwealth is yet to comment on the situation. On the streets of Darwin, there's anger. We're going to go put pressure on the rest of the country to bail us out. Pretty unacceptable and poor performance by the NT government. They've really got to pull their finger out, mate, you know, because there's a lot of really, really, really hard-working people in this place, you know, really, really struggling. The business community and the opposition are also seeing red. There doesn't appear to be too much in their plan. It's uh, go, to, go to Canberra. Um, cap in hand to ask for, for a further handout uh, and what, um, what people I think would, would really like to see is, um, is the Northern Territory doing its bit to pull its weight in terms of addressing some of these uh, expenditure overruns. It is disgraceful, it is scary and the government should be ashamed of what they've done to the Territory's finances. In the documents released today, NT Treasury says if government continues on its current spending trajectory, debt will increase tenfold, from $3 billion this year to $35 billion by 2030. This government has now burdened untold generations with a debt uh, that really threatens the future viability and solvency into the future. The NT Auditor General has already identified key areas to slash spending, such as capital grants and a massive rise in public employee expenses. The government says it plans to roll out radical measures to bring the budget under control, but some analysts believe there won't be the political will to do what's needed. They've been ignoring the signs, the warning signs for a long time. We've been talking about it, post-budget analysis has talked about it, Previous budget analysis has talked about it. What radical structural shift has taken place? Nothing. The Northern Territory government says it will need to halve its expenditure to regain control of the budget and that it wants to consult the public on how to best do that. Today, the Treasurer indicated public sector cuts could be on the table and that departments would also need to rein in their spending. But in the absence of any clear plan of attack, for now, the Northern Territory economy and the budget remain in a free fall. Stephanie Zillman, ABC News, Darwin. And the ABC invited the Chief Minister Michael Gunner onto the program to discuss the debt crisis, but he was not available. 